Hello, you beautiful peeps. My name's Sean. Welcome to my channel. Today is the Crow Ball. Crow Ball. Crow Ball. Crow XD KJ005. Now, if the XD KJ sounds familiar to you, it's because it's exactly the same to the Larlo XD KJ. It's the same company, just uh, different named products. This is a monster truck. Oil shocks, brushed 550 motor. Now, you're gonna ask me, but John, is it based around the similar design as all the other ones? The WL Toys 144001? Yes, it is. But I've, heard, I've sort of read a lot of negative comments concerning that saying, but they're all just copying each other. We're getting the same over and over and over. And I think of it a sort of a different way. I think of it as A, We've got a lot more spare parts because all these companies are coming out with the, the similar products. But B, it means they're all working to beat each other. So it means that we're getting a better product every time. And I'm hoping that this one is going to show us that. Um, let me give you some facts and figures. Okay, it's a 1 14th scale four wheel drive, uh, estimated around 50 to 70 kilometers an hour. Mm, we'll check that one out. It does accept 2S and 3S batteries, which is great. 1,800 milliamp hour 2S battery, 7.4 volt. Uh, waterproof 60 amp ESC, 70 plus kilometers an hour with a 3S LiPo. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's hope that's the case. Oil filled shock, alloy metal chassis, the 550 motor, 11,500 revs per minute, and 1.7 kilogram torque three wire steering servo. The three wire is quite important. What I like from this company is that they've got a nice big accessory kit which we all like, and it does include spare parts, which again is very handy if the very first thing you do is crash. Now, we have the battery, as I said, 1,800 milliamp hour battery with the charger there. We've got the spares there for the wheels. Swing arms, always nice having those. And always nice having things like CVD drive shafts and spare tools there as well. Here is the bumper that they, they traditionally send with their kits. It's a nice big bumper for this one, but I like this original bumper, so I'm gonna keep that one there. Oh, now I don't think I'm supposed to have two of these. I think this is a mistake, but it's handy just in case one of them starts to come off. I will do that later at home in a nice controlled environment rather than trying to rush them on now. And of course, the instruction book. Now, the very last thing is the normal traditional Ooh. controller from them with Crowball written right there. It's a nice standard controller, so I'm very interested to see whether we get a long transmission distance, unlike the problems that I had with the Laro XD KJ006. Now, how is this car going to handle in comparison to say, for example, a 144-001 or even the XDKJ006 from Lalo themselves? Well, I'm expecting good things because the 144-001 has always done very well on rough roads. Uh, the XDKJ006 has also done very well on the rough roads. So this one should handle them with ease. So enough of me talking, let's get on.
So if I could just ask one favor from yourselves, if you could hit that subscribe button, it takes very little commitment from you to just go down and press that button. But for me, for the channel, it means great things. It shows YouTube that the channel is growing and the more of you that press that subscribe button, the higher up we go up the rankings and YouTube pushes us a little further, a little further, more subscribers, a little higher. So please do that. No commitment from you really, let's be honest. Okay, let's get on. I am just going to quickly point out the fact that this is now currently roughly around 34, 36 degrees C here today. Um, and we've had no overheating issues whatsoever. I have taken the sticker off here that I've seen a few people leaving it on while testing it and then they're having some overheating issues. I haven't had any overheating issues whatsoever up until this point, of course, but let's keep on going. more of a jump then. So ladies and gents, what do you think of that footage? What do you think of this monster truck? Is it a monster truck? It's not really monster. Anyway, um, I'm actually really impressed with this. It's handled everything that we've thrown at it. It's been launched, jumped everywhere, and there's not one thing that's broken on it, and it's barely scratched, I'll be honest with you, which is quite impressive. What usually happens with the larger wheels is that you lose a little bit of control, but not with this one. It went everywhere that I went, or I wanted it to go. Usually I miss a lot of jumps and stuff like that when Colin's recording, you know, we're aiming for this jump and we've got to do it two or three takes because I miss it. This time it's only happened once and that was just because I really wasn't paying attention, not because the car wasn't handling the way it should do. The suspension's great on it. The wheelie bar we've not used because it doesn't quite go as fast as predicted on the 2S. Um, I'm gonna have to get to some speed run area and see what speed it can do on 2S and then I'll also chuck in a 3S battery and see whether it livens it up much at all. Now this retails today at $169.99 US dollars but I've got my phone out here because I received a message yesterday from them stating that from the 23rd of August these will be on sale for the first 200 units It'll be 99.99 US dollars, which is a bargain, ladies and gentlemen. Not just that, but the next 500 will only be 129.99 US dollars, which again is a bargain. So, can I recommend this one? I think you know where I'm going on this one. Yes, definitely. 169.99. Gee, dig, 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 dig. I think it's slightly expensive, but of course, if you use my code, John Robinson RC, you'll get 15% off that as well. Now, if you can pick up one of these up for 99.99 US dollars or 129.99 US dollars, run by very, very good indeed. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will catch you next time. Stay safe, bye-bye. <laughs> Oh no, I broke it! Can you stop recording at the end? This is my fun time, my personal time, you keep on recording.